Hi Cancer, it's Elle here to do a quick reading for you guys. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and get into it. Thank you God for blessing Cancer with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Cancer, this reading is going to be about what the person that you're coming to the reading for, what they want to say to you, all right? So let's see what your person wants to say to you, Cancer. What does this person want to say to Cancer? What does this person want to say to, okay. All right, and this card fell onto the floor. Okay, so you could be dealing with a Leo. You have a strength card. Excuse me, your person could be wanting to say that they're holding back. They're trying to operate with a level of compassion for the entire situation, but they're holding back because they don't feel um, the level of trust with you or with the connection. They don't feel like they can trust you with their emotions, with their feelings. Um, they can't be vulnerable with you um, for whatever reason. And it could be mutual, but this is what your person wants to say to you. There's a lot of love here, but there's a lot of holding back too. Your person has two sides to them and that is all. There is no gray area. There is the lion or the lamb, depending on who you are or what you give this person, one of the two will show up, the lion or the lamb. So your person could say, you know, I have no gray area. There's, you know, I don't do the in-between. It, it, it either is or it isn't. Your person also could feel like they're holding back because there's too much mystery surrounding the connection, the relationship. The Ten of Cups also wanted to come out. Look, they they do have love for you. They have a very communal love for you. This person could be saying, look, I love you. I, I might not be in love with you anymore, but I, I do have a love for you. I do want us to um, call a truce in this standoff that we're having because it is not healthy for, for me, and I'm, I'm pretty sure it's not healthy for you. That's what your person is saying. Especially if you have a family, somebody could be saying they want their family back. They want to come back. Your person could be saying the lovers, okay? They could be a Gemini. Doesn't have to be, but could be. So your person could be saying, you know, they, they do miss the love, the um, intimacy, the these hot and steamy nights. Um, they feel like the relationship was very significant, okay? But they also feel like somebody or something came in between the two of you. It was a very significant relationship to where maybe there was like a soul contract here, like soulmates, twin flames, whatever you subscribe to. And, but they felt like, okay, this was you not choosing the connection or vice versa. They didn't choose the connection, but this is what your person wants to say to you. So they feel like you didn't choose the connection cancer. You chose the latter. You chose another, you chose something else. Um, uh, therefore it's having long lasting implications, long lasting, a lingering uh, effect to the both of you because it, you, there's a soul contract here. Yeah. Your person feels like, um, there was a, a lot of options, a lot of discord, dysfunction, other people in between the relationship. They felt like maybe you were keeping up a lot of love affairs, maybe even behind their back. They felt like, um, you both were, you know, in opposition to one another. You know, you both wanted two different things. So there is the conflict, you know, if uh, you and me, Cancer, if uh, we, we go out and, um, you know, I say I want uh, pizza and you say, well, I want hot dogs. And I'm like, I want pizza. And you say, I want hot dogs. So now we're in, we're, we're in conflict. It's competing goals, right? You want you know, hot dogs, I want pizza. So it's, it's like, um, you guys weren't on the same page is what your person is saying. Your person is saying, look, you had a lot of options with the page of pentacles and you didn't choose correctly or you didn't choose one or you chose one. Um, and it wasn't them or you were just inconsistent or there was a level of inconsistency or somebody needed to be consistent, right? You didn't, somebody could be saying you treated them unfairly, unjustly. Um, you were in and out, you were hot and cold. Uh, you would love them and leave them. You were very, you know, you had a honey tongue. You knew what to say, when to say it, how to say it. The sex was good. The passion was nice. But at the same time, um, you know, um, you weren't there for a long time. You were there for a good time. You saw that through and then you, you moved on. Um, your person could be saying that you don't know how to stop and slow down and just smell the roses. You don't know how to just be content, be happy with. 
Your person could be saying that you have too much fiery energy to the point where you just don't know how to uh, um, settle, settle down. Um, you don't let grass grow under your feet is what this person could be saying about you. Let's see, um, or what they're, you know, what they're saying that they did or they did to you. They, this could be what they did to you also. They could be saying, you know, I did all this to you. You know, um, I had other people. You were an option. I know I needed to choose. I didn't choose right. I, uh, I didn't make the right choice. I didn't do the right thing. I was unfair. I treated you unfair, Cancer. This is what your person could be saying. They kept you as a lover and they didn't give you the, the title. They didn't choose you. Okay. Uh, let's see what the advice is for you, Cancer. What's the advice for Cancer here? Advice for cancer. Advice for cancer. Advice for cancer. Okay. Ace of Cups. Understand and know who you love, who holds your heart, why you love them, and express it. You know, um, allow the love that is flowing towards you, allow it to fill you. Um, something about spirituality, too. Maybe you need to detox. So I'm here. Maybe even detox from drinking. Okay, what is the advice for cancer? This, well, I said it, seven of cups. Maybe you need to detox from drinking. Maybe you need to also come out of this whole wishful thinking and, you know, overindulgence, overindulging type of energy behavior um, because you don't want to process your emotions correctly or accurately. You just kind of just have them all or you keep a, a lot of people you keep a lot of energy going around you swirling around you um it says uh, make a choice they are fleeting you're all you're obviously fantasy your cards are falling out you're obviously fantasizing about somebody or something go towards it don't procrastinate too much wishful thinking um go to the next level close out cycles that no longer fulfill you the four of cups, somebody could be at a place of discontent, boredom, um, not satisfied with any other options. It says, don't miss the opportunity, the blessing that is before you. Okay. By being too withdrawn and not understanding and not processing your emotions accurately. Transition, come out of something, come out of this stuck, stagnant energy of I'll just fantasize. I'll just think about, I'll just, you know, be in my emotions about, let go of the burden. Tell the secret. The secret that you love this person or that they love you or accept them. Allow them to tell you how they feel about you. The Ten of Wands. Um, let down this burden. Quit carrying it. Take the chip off your shoulder. Change your perspective. Take some time to be alone and think about this. Um, after, if you do this, you definitely come out you know, with a renewed sense of self and then you can re-engage. The Ten of Wands says right now you're on autopilot and you don't want to feel or think about anything. All right, so I'm going to leave you with a mystery card. All right, so the mystery card, um, the mystery card could mean anything to you. Okay, I'm not going to read the card. I'm not going to decode the card for you, but... I would like for you, and I think it'd be fun for us to kind of decode what this card means uh, for all the different cancers that will come to the reading. So write it down in the comment section. What does this mystery card mean for you in terms of this reading? You know, let's see. Okay, the mystery card. Wow, communication. What does that mean for you? Look at it. There's a girl with a phone. Something about, I don't know. I I was about to decode it for you. I'm not going to decode it. I'm, I'm out. We're done. Okay, so let me know down in the comment section, what does communication mean for you? How does it resonate with your situation? Does somebody need to, does someone need to communicate with you? Do you need to communicate with someone else? Does someone not know how to communicate? Does communication always turn into an argument? Is this person crazy when they communicate? You know, let me know. Do you over communicate? Okay, so, um. Cancer, I lost my complete uh, train of thought. 
uh, all links are below if you need to get in contact with me. And if you want your own personal reading, go over to the website, book there. Um, do keep in mind that Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, I am live. You can ask questions, come for the collective reading. Also, you can learn the Tarot with me. Tarot classes are linked below in the description box. Also, catch me on Keen.com. Yep, Keen.com. At Keen.com, they have a really good special. You could talk to me. We could have a 10-minute chat for $1.99. Yep. Yep, I said it. One dollar ninety nine cent. Follow the link that says try Keen and and uh, find me over at Keen.com. Okay. Thank you guys. Many blessings to you. Take care.